I was just on Instagram a few minutes ago and I saw another young kid that lost his life because he was on an app He met somebody and whatever transpired, transpired. Now they find his body at the bottom of a lake. No, I didn't know him. But these kids, and I call them kids because they're a lot younger than me. Fuck, I'll just say it. These babies, okay? These babies are losing their lives. For who they are. And this particular incident came from or derived from the person he met and nobody is fucking doing anything to save these babies I thank God for my mother Because when I was going through my, I don't even know what to call it, but from between 16 and 22, I don't know what happened to me. It's like I became a completely different person. I was, I was wild. And I thank God for my mother because prayer works. My mother prayed me through the years of 16 and 22 and doesn't even know it. Granted, some of the things I did, I should not be sitting here today. And I'll admit that. Sorry, I had a a notification that's going to have to wait because this is more important. Why isn't anyone doing anything to prevent the loss of young lives? I don't care about your ethnicity, your color, your shade. I don't care. Everybody's lives matter. It, there needs to be some type of movement, some, some type of something to protect these children. Parents, some parents are oblivious to what their teens are doing with their phones. Why would you spend almost 1100 or more dollars on a phone for your teen and you are completely oblivious? Why? It, this is bothering me because it seems like it's an ongoing epidemic that nobody cares about. But yet everybody's wanting to see everybody showing their damn ass, making money, and following these stupid motherfuckers on fucking OnlyFans and the rest of that shit. This generation is fucked. Completely. Everybody's wanting, you know, pointless and meaningless sex. And everybody's doing everything they can to get it, which includes 
selling yourself. You might as well be a fucking prostitute, you stupid fucking bitches. And yes, I'm talking about the men too. On camera, just naked. Only fans. Ooh, buy this eight ninety five. Ooh, twenty two ninety five. This, that, and the third. If you want to make something of yourself, get some education behind you. Do something with your life. Stop being sorry. Stop being lazy. You're being lazy. No, it's not easy. Anything that is easy is not worth keeping. I do my job every day, eight hours a day, five days a week. I would do more if my company would let me, but they won't. But anyway, beside the point. Hard work does pay off. My car that I, w that I got financed... I thought I paid my car off in two and a half years. I just looked at my credit report and it was paid off in two with a four and a half year term. That's what you do when you don't want anything to be held over you. You do what you have to do to get things done. Granted, me saying that and then what I said a few moments ago contradicts itself. I understand that. But nobody on this planet can ever say there is a video of me or a picture of me circulating anywhere. Nobody. And tell the truth. But yet everybody is selling sex and selling sexual favors and, and sex acts to get money. You're lazy. You're sorry. You are uneducated. And you are just retarded. Granted, finding a job is not easy. Dedication should come natural. But yet, here we are. It is very upsetting to see someone, and this has nothing to do with age, race, orientation, nothing like that. This is just humanity. Killing someone after you meet them on an app is uncalled for. And no, I'm not looking at the camera right now. I'm looking outside because I, I can't even give you a reason. I have so many reasons in my head. There was no point, no point to do harm to someone else. I don't care how you met. I don't care what you did after you met, but harming them, killing them is not okay. It's not cool. It doesn't make you a better male because you're not a man. You're a bitch. That's what you are. You want to be on an app to meet somebody, to hook up. You want to meet somebody to fuck because you can't control yourself because you're bored, you're sorry and lazy, just like everyone else. But yet, you decide to get on an app and meet this kid and then kill him.
And then the family, the friends, are left to deal with the aftermath of what you did. I hope the police find out who did it and hang his ass out to dry. And I'm going to say another thing that's going to piss a lot of fucking people off. I don't give a fuck. It's the fucking truth. And you motherfuckers need to hear this shit. Everybody's running around talking about, ooh, pride, ooh, pride, ooh, pride, ooh, pride. Why don't you motherfuckers have pride in your own fucking community? The, I'm going to say this. The entire gay community is prejudiced, racist, and everything else. I see it. I hear it. And you can't say it's not and be telling the truth because you're all fucking lying. I have been called so many things from Mexican, white, nigger, and everything else. And it's you motherfuckers that are doing it. Running around trying to be fucking women. I don't give a fuck what you cut off, what you push in, what you push out. I don't give a fuck. Your ass will always be the same motherfucking gender. How about that? Have some truth. Watch the documentaries on the people that have come before us that have had these sex change operations and listen to what they say. It does not feel the same. It does not feel good. It hurts. But yet everybody's running out and and trying to become women, trying to become men. Bitch. Ain't gonna happen. Not at all. But everybody's running around talking about fucking pride. Why don't you have some pride in yourself? Some dignity, some damn class. Running around outside in in the fucking thong is not pride. It's not attractive. You're a fucking slut. You're a whore. That's what a whore does. And if you need the definition of whore, why don't you go to the the thesaurus and look up whore? Why don't you go to the thesaurus and look up slut, prostitute, streetwalker? Need I go further? Because I can. What you pretend to be, you are. What you act like is how you're judged. I don't judge people. I've moved past that. I'm no longer in my teens. I just tell the truth about him. That was uncouth and unsightly. The hell is this? Whatever. Like I said, I'm human. Next. Anyway. I I don't judge people. I'm not God, but I will tell the truth about them. And if they hear it, they hear it. And let's just call a spade a spade. I am so sick and tired of this fucking gay community. There is no unity. Everybody is so separate and sticking to 
Oh, 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 see, I wasn't going to go there, but I'm going to go there. Everybody is sticking to what is called perfection. Everybody wants someone that is just perfect looking according to what they see from their POV. And for the stupid watching that's probably going to say some fucked up shit, go right the fuck ahead. POV, point of view. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Looks change. They fade. People and their personalities don't. They are who they are. Now, moods are different. Moods change like the weather. But this gay community is not a community. It is a prejudiced, segregated group of people that diminish, destroy, bash each other, disrespect each other, and talk about each other. If I don't like somebody, I don't like them. And it's not because of the way they look. It's the way they address me, the way they approach me, the way they come at me. And that's what this LGBTQ community is about. No, I'm not bashing the community. I'm just telling the motherfucking truth. Because your motherfuckers need to open your motherfucking eyes and wake the fuck up and pay the fuck attention to what the fuck is going on. Because apparently everybody's walking with their fucking eyes closed or the rose-colored glasses on or something. Pay the fuck attention. Wake the fuck up. You know what? The more time goes on, the more society reverts back. This is almost mid-2019. But yet, society's year is about 1997 to about 1995. Instead of moving forward, we're going back. So yes, it's true, history repeats itself. Point blank. But yet, nobody is paying attention. Babies are losing their lives because they're meeting older guys that use them and then kill them. And how stupid, how fucking stupid do you have to be to fucking kill somebody? And put their body in the fucking water, you stupid motherfucker. You just dumb as fuck. Dumb. Water may wash away the DNA from the outside of the body. That's all I'll say on that. 
You do the math. Everybody claims to be so fucking smart. Get smart. Is sex really that important? To me, no. I'd rather be... (coughs) I'd rather be clocked in making money. You have the face of my watch just cracked and it still works. No issue. Next. Anyway. Nobody wants to work. Everybody just wants things handed to them or they want to get things easily. I know somebody that fits this perfectly. But I'm not going to go there. I'm really not. But, you know what, I'm, I don't want to sound like I'm bashing your community. And I say your community, because even though that that is the life that I chose for me, I'm not a part of it. I'm not, I'm not going to become one of those fucking raging queens that looks like, A a fucking what the fuck. Yes, I said it. A what the fuck. You got your makeup caked on all the way up here. Got fucking long ass eyelashes. Bitch, you look ridiculous. You really do. Me and drag queens, we don't get along. At all, period. Like, I can see right through you. You will never be a female. You will never be a woman. Dressing up like one and acting like one. Make sure you wax your face and get rid of the stubble because it's poking through your makeup. I can see it. I have very good vision. I can see it. Like... This angers me because this all I hear is the 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 gay community, the community, community, community. Where is it? What what does it do for its members? And nothing positive, except you have pride where people act a fool, get high, get drunk, fuck random people, and spend money. Um, yeah, that's real positive. Um, shit. Like, there is no unity anywhere in that community. I guess you can say I'm a different breed. I I guess I am just a different breed because I don't understand how the entire community will not band together to protect their own. I will never, ever include myself in pride. I will never, ever say that I'm a part of the gay community because it's bullshit. It's fuckery. Nobody stands up for anybody. I have had to break up fights at at bars because one guy gave another guy a compliment and the names he was called when 
the guy got up, I stepped closer. When he picked that glass up and tried to throw it in the other guy's face, that's when I stepped in. Don't know either one of them. While everybody else was standing there watching. Watching someone get beat is not a spectacle. It's not a sport. It's not comical. It's not entertaining. But yet, all you motherfuckers want to walk around with wigs on and fucking makeup and donkey ass lashes, making yourself look like a damn camel. Talking about, ooh, girl, ooh, girl, bitch. Let one of you motherfucking drag queens try to touch me. Talking about, oh girl, look at your hair, bitch. If you don't back your donkey headed ass the fuck up. What community? There is no gay community. That's the name that society gave you motherfuckers because we all know that you won't do anything to protect your own. If something happens, you're running there screaming, Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! But yet you want somebody to come to your rescue when you're getting your ass whooped because you're flirting with a straight dude. What type of ass backward bullshit is that? What type? Please tell me. I got time. You can leave me a message. I'll get it. Help me understand. You are flirting with a straight man. Being the raging, flaming queen that you think you should be. But when he balls up his fist, it cocks back and lets that motherfucking fist fly, bitch. You the first motherfucker screaming. High soprano, you hitting them tenors and alto notes, bitch. But yet, there's a community. Bitch, where? Now, I live in a community that I'm a part of. It's called my apartment complex. This is a community of residents. Now, what you motherfuckers call a community ain't one. It's just a group of motherfuckers that impersonate, try to be. If you are who you pretend to be, there is no need to pretend shit. I am who I pretend to be. And I give not one fuck. So until things start to change with your community and we all start protecting these babies, these children, they are younger than me. So until then, they will be children, they will be babies, because that's what they are. They, are, they don't know how to handle themselves in this life. And the older guys see that. So they say, ooh, bait. Ooh, here's my chance. And everybody's just walking around with the rose-colored glasses on, with their blinders on the side, don't see anything, don't hear anything. Oh my God, I'm such a fucking queen. It's a sad group of people. A real sad group of people. And I'm not bashing anybody 
I mean, if you took it that way, I do apologize. But damn, can we be fucking honest for once? You guys don't even protect your damn selves. You're too busy worried about fake nails, fake lashes, fake hair, wigs, heels that your big ass feet don't need to be in, and your motherfucker show can't walk in them. Walk around looking like horses, trying to keep your balance. They're not made for you. They're not made for your size 13 foot. Shit. Be a man. I, I get it. Some, some of you guys, you know, you're really small. Skinny. And you know what? Let, let me just touch on another subject while we doing this video. Shit. For you motherfuckers that call yourself stocky and you and you five ten, five eleven, and hundred and forty five to hundred and sixty pounds, where are you stocky at in your mind? Huh? Cause you look like a, a a pole. As a matter of fact, you look like my lamp over there in the corner. Okay, it, it's about that round. That's not stocky. If the wind blows, your ass is flying. And don't nobody real like a bone but a dog. I'm sorry, I don't bark. I don't howl. I don't walk on all fours. And I don't have a tail nor a snout. I'm not skinny. Don't want to be. Because if I'm ever in a fight... I need to be able to withstand a couple of blows and, and not have every bone in my body break from one punch. Oh, wait. I forgot. Damn. that That's for them little skinny things that like to wear the skin-tight shirts and flat iron their hair, even though it's about, oh, yay long. And wear an even tighter jacket and you think you look good. No, you look like you can't breathe. You know what? I gotta upload another video. And this one's gonna be funny. Cause this shit is some fuckery here. And everybody needs to know that this is some fucking fuckery. Any damn way, shit. This fuckery. Get it together. Because this community ain't worth shit. You don't stand for yourselves. You don't defend each other. You don't stand up for each other. But you want to dress like women and try to act like a woman. And then when a straight man finds out what the fuck you are and you get your ass beat, you want to be claiming hate crime and this crime and that crime. It ain't no motherfucking crime to get your ass beat, bitch. You should have opened your motherfucking mouth and owned up to the shit. You can not pretend to be what you will never fucking be. Can I get a motherfucking amen, bitch? Like I said before at the beginning of this video, I don't care what you push in or pull out, you will never be the opposite sex hoe. But you always be a hoe. Deal with that. Holla if you hear me.